quick. What are we doing? First uh, broadcast. Okay. Yeah. Hey everyone. Hello. Hi, uh, this is Joe and Tim here. Hi. Uh, we're here just doing our very first broadcast here uh, on uh, Periscope. Um, welcome to our practice tonight. Um, we're just here just to let you know that um, this is our very first broadcast. We're hoping to try to figure out what we're, how this is going to work from here. Hopefully this will kind of keep you in the loop of what's going on. Um, Part of using this Periscope platform is also to be able to get you in depth of what we do here at, at Lionheart. We also, you know, to kind of get you involved with those other little things as well. Also, we're going to be able to use this to be able to stream live of concert footage, or not really concert footage, but show footage of us being able to perform just in case you can't show up. Um, I know sometimes even some places make us pay for tickets, um, so you can be able to watch from your very own phone. So we just like to just um, encourage you to be a part of, of what's going on with Lionheart. Once again, we are a Christian band, or if people like to say they're Christians in a band, it yes. doesn't matter as long as the truth is they do this. we do this one thing, which is to promote Jesus Christ. If a Christian band claims to be Christian, but yet they're still unclear in their message, and yet they're, they kind of wonder if they're really Christian or not, then it then makes you wonder if they really are Christians. You know, so... Um, you know, we we all uh, believe that Jesus Christ is our personal Savior. We believe He died on the cross and rose again on the third day. So, just to make that clear for the record, and also just to let you know, we're also politically incorrect as well. Um, you know, we do have our political leans also, but we also do encourage that you know that people would should pray for our nation as it's going through this time of right now of a very crucial decision. Um, what we do here, um, as far as you know, we got our personal beliefs. We got you know. We got, our, we got our candidates who we back up. Um, not everybody agrees with my candidate or what, what it is, but what they are, and even from the, from the background from where I came from. So I would just um, encourage you just to kind of keep on what's, keep up on what's going on with with the with, with the news. You know, with the, we, we we don't want we don't want eight years of a four more years of the eight years that we have already. So we you know. If you if you're in that position, you're like man, why is this going there? Because remember, keep this one thing in mind. We begin to start seeing things fall apart because Ronald Reagan said it best at one time that if we forget that we're in, we're a nation under God, we are a nation that's going under, and that's what's going on with us right now. So um, that's one thing I want you to kind of keep in mind of. Also, we also want to let you know of our first show, uh, show coming up um, in February. In, um, February 13th, it's on a Saturday at 7 p.m. Now, for those of you who are in the Los Angeles area, we encourage you to, to, um, to see us at Canoga Park at the place known as the Guitar Merchant. It's, it's a cool little shindig. It's a, it's a showroom, uh, also a place where people can play, let alone it has you know, musical instruments there. So we like to really encourage you to come and to check out our, our show that on that day. Um, you know, obviously we're you know, we're gonna be taking everything we can to build into to um, you know to be able to give you the best show that we can. Now also we have another show coming up which has been confirmed recently, which is to play at the to, to play at Sanctuary Church, which is held at Angel um, City Cafe. Okay, you you can um, you know like say so you can look on our website at. Uh, lionheartmusic.com L-Y-O-N-H-A-R-T-M-U-S-I-C-K uh, uh, dot com you can find, follow us there also you can, if you are following us on Twitter you can also keep um, talk to us on Twitter we're also on Reverb Nation we're also on Instagram so we're going to keep those things going to you and obviously, obviously we have our Facebook page which is at Lionheart Music um, we would like to encourage you to come to be a part of what God is doing. We're believing that God's going to do more and more, and I'm believing that God now is, is opening up more doors. We're also going to be, hopefully soon, if everything works out, we'll be partnering with, with some other friends of friends that um, that are also in the same vision that what we have is which is to take the music to the masses and to take them to the people who need the gospel the most. So, in all this, we would like to encourage you and thank you for being supportive of our music and also of our ministry. Please keep us in your prayers because I know sometimes Satan doesn't like what we do and sometimes he'll come against us in many ways. 
So I would like to invite you to pray, pray with us and to strive with us as we continue to push God's word forward. Now, once again, if, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, we want to let you know that He loves you and that He, he died for the opportunity to, to give you a, a hope and a future which He has planned for all of us. All you got to do is, number one, is acknowledge that, that we're all sinners. The Bible says in Romans chapter uh, 3, verse 10, says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And also further on, to let you know how imperfect we are, the Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But also acknowledge that there's also a price to pay for our sin. In Romans chapter um, 6, verse 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death. But also there's an alternative, knowing that Christ gave his life for, for us. That's why if you look at the second part of that verse, it says, But but the gift of eternal life is due Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, why did he do that? Because the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, uh, I mean, chapter 5, verse 8, it's, it says, For God showed his showed or demonstrated his love for us while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Now, just to let you know, he, he died because he knew that the, the, the sin debt would not be paid for by, uh, one's, own, by, by one's own sacrifice. And plus, because of what God has required for sin to be paid for, Jesus Christ was known as the Lamb of God, and he was the perfect Lamb. And because of that, that's why when he died, he, he didn't die to start another religion. He didn't die to... to uh, to create a cult. He died to have a relationship with each and every one of us on a personal level. So tonight I would like to ask you to please understand that Jesus Christ loves you and to receive him into your heart as your personal Savior. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 9, it says, if you should confess the Lord Jesus Christ you know, as Lord and believe, and believe that God has raised him from the dead, you will, you will be saved. And also the Bible says, for the Google goes on and say, chapter, in verse 10, it says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and for with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So I'd like to, you know, to understand that you can call on Jesus. You know, all you got to do is just say it in a very simple prayer. Just, you know, prayer is not you have to say no mumble jumbo or any kind of Hail Marys, maybe if you're coming from the Catholic Church or anything like that. Prayer basically is just talking to God. In this case, what you're doing is you're, you're asking God to help me because he, cause we cannot do this on our own. We cannot go to heaven on our own. We cannot be perfect people. Some people will say, well, I, I came from a good neighborhood. I ain't all that bad. But remember what, it's, what it says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23. So now there is a guarantee that knowing that if you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, He will come into your heart and He will, and he will, he will live in you. Because the Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you are or what you become. Christ loves you. He cares about you. He wants to take you to heaven when you die. Because the Bible says that, you know, it, it says, you know, um, for, for, for the thought that I have of you, says the Lord, but that are, they are not of evil, but to give you a hope and a future. That's what God has in mind for you. So I would like for you to, you know, to consider that tonight. And, and tonight, before you go to bed, even if you, you know, even if you, even if you, even if you um, go to sleep tonight, please, even if, if you're at your last dying breath, ask Jesus to come into your heart. Because the Bible teaches, and plus we know it's very evident, especially in today's time, that there is no guarantee for the next day. You know, who knows what, what the, the evil will bring forth. So I would like to ask you that tonight that you would ask Jesus Christ. If you need help in that prayer, let me give you a little prayer you can follow. You don't have to close your eyes or fold your hands or anything. Just look at you can use this look in your heart and 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 mean this. You know just what you do is just you know look up to heaven, dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. And according to your according to your word, my sin must be paid for. But I thank you, Jesus, for dying for me, for taking my place on the cross for my sin. At this time, Jesus, I ask you now to come into my heart, save me, and wash away all, you know, all my sins. And give me a new direction in life and help me to understand that you have my best interest at heart and knowing that you're going to give me a hope in the future when I die. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer.
we don't, you know, we know what Christ has done in our lives. If you were born there, two things were supposed to be a gang member, you were, you were going to be a high school dropout, and you were going to be locked up in jail. Now, I thank God that at the age of 18, 17, that he reached down, and he, and he was on his way, and turned his life so around, and gave him a hope and a future. And today, I am what I am now because it's done my life. So I would like to ask you to give Jesus a chance, but at the same time, also understand that we do this because we care. Now, once again, you could also, if you need more information, go to our Lionheart Music Team, N U S I C K. Or you can go to any any of our pages, or you send us an email at lionheartmusic.com. I'll be more than glad to talk with you. Know, send you an email. We do personally correspond to our emails. You can also find us on River Nation also as well. We just hope we appreciate we appreciate this broadcast, and God bless.